Okay, quick sit rep. There's rumour, in fact more than rumour, we've checked it on the web, that there's a splendid swimming pool at the hotel tonight. And we got very excited at the prospect, as it's such a lovely day. So we've just been to the Intersport and bought some budgie smugglers. So uh, I'm not sure, Ian, will we be seeing yours on film later? Uh, well, it's that or nothing. Well, oh, 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 something to look forward to. Stay tuned, folks. Checking out that blue sky. Nice. Just another winter's day. <laughs> I want to sit on the edge, I want to sit on the edge. There's a song there. That was a winter's tail, I You're showing your age. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Well, that was a top stop in Ronda once again. There's nothing to not like here. We went in that little restaurant in the end. It's absolutely cooking here now. 27 degrees on the sat nav, and we got an hour and two to get to our hotel, which we're really looking forward to, and to try out those new budgie smugglers that we've uh, we've invested in. Whoa, I desperately need a bit of airflow. It is hot. Come on, Helen, out you come. I'm gonna lose you. So we're about to go over the splendid uh, Puente Nueva. I'll wait just over here though, because I can't see them. Don't want to lose them at this stage. There they are. Ah, it's busy here, popping a little spot. No, don't do it, thank you. Wow. These cobbles are a bit slippery actually. Now I'm about to cross. Nope. Good. I love Ronda, I've been there a few times now. It's really a top spot. And we had a really good stop there, made up for the uh, bit of a cock up we had with the nav earlier. So the next treat is the Ronda Road that I love so much. So this particular stretch of road uh, that takes us up, this is the A397, becomes that uh, Ronda Road. Couldn't do uh, Adrian, our guide. Yes, they said that there are average speed cameras along here, so not to go too mad. And also, we saw a fixed one just now, we passed them. They're not like in the UK where they're bright yellow and they give you plenty of warnings. It's just a white looking innocuous box on the side of the road. I think you have to be doing over 90k to trigger them. And I'm just creeping around here at about 75 at the moment, but uh, technically speaking, I think it's a 60 kilometres an hour limit, so I mean, I'm basically just following the speed of the traffic. You never know, so I don't want to go too mad, even though it's very tempting on such an amazing surface road. And it's a bit embarrassing having cars overtaking us, but uh, we'll let them have the fines rather than us. So we're on the uh, Ronda Road proper now, and uh, we've got Ian ahead as you can see. He's got his camera running actually on his uh, top box. I'm hoping we might get some shots from it. Those little uh, GoPro sessions are brilliant, but uh, I have to be pretty much right on top of him for it to look like I'm close enough really. So we're doing, you know, reasonable speed around here to be fair. And it feels to me like I'm right on his backside. <laughs> but I bet through my GoPro and through his, it doesn't look anything. I'm literally 10 feet from his wheel. But it probably looks 30 feet on the camera. However, it's good fun. And I'm chuffed that he's getting to try the 1250 out. I think BMW might have another sale there. What a road. What an amazing view. I'm just uh, not going to enjoy it. <laughs> I'm concentrating on these bends. Well, a bit of cloud over there. Not used to that today. Hello! Unbelievable. Uh -oh. I know a little bit of cloud on the tops of the peaks just makes them look a bit more spectacular somehow. And as you can see we've climbed a bit, it's uh, dropped the temperature a little bit to 23 now which is just perfect. What better way to spend your Saturday afternoon, eh? I love this road. Crikey, 
Temperature's gone down to 20 degrees now. <laughs> Positively chilly around here. Actually, it's just perfect riding weather. Well, let's hope the sun comes back out again in time for us getting to that pool. Otherwise, I would have wasted five euros on the uh, on the speedos. This would be tragedy. Popular biker spot. Okay, so we just stopped to, uh, well, I changed my battery actually in the GoPro, and also just to uh, let Helen catch up with us because we left her behind a bit on those twisties. And she came flying past us. So now we've got to try and catch her. <laughs> what fun. Unfortunately, a bit of traffic came between us and them. So, uh, sorry, her and, the, and us, as it were. So, uh, I'm going to have to try and weave my way past this lot. Or indeed, I'm sure if they're way ahead, they'll wait for us. Looks like we're coming out onto the sunny side again. No escape from the white van. Even in Spain, the Ducato from the Fiat stable, no less. Okay, so we've made our way down the mountains, lost the van, at least the time being, and we're in the sort of Marbella hills now, where all the very fancy villas are. And we've regrouped with the rest of the team. Well, Helen and Ian, if uh, two others makes a team, I'm not sure. And uh, not so far to go now to find our hotel for the night, which we're looking forward to. Well, we can certainly see we come back to built up civilization after that cracking ride down the Ronda Road. Right, just seen our first sign to Benna Harvest, which is where the hotel is. Hopefully we can find it, no bother. Very much looking forward to, uh, to getting there, I must say, this way, Benna Harvest. And an actual beer with alcohol. Pretty impressive bridge structure there. And looks like we've got a right turn just after it. Ooh, it's a speed bump. Got the Sydney Harbour Bridge, look at that. Okay, maybe not quite. Okay, this away. Okay, so this is uh, Benna Harvest, the town of. Our hotel is here somewhere, looks very nice, I have to say. Hup, hup. People doing a roadside getting dressed. <laughs> Maybe there's a waterfall or something up there they've been indulging in. Or maybe it's just, just a plain old swimming pool, who knows. Right, two minutes till we get there. See you when we get to the hotel. Can't wait. All right, I think this is it. How do we get in? Yes. Home sweet home. Do you want to jump off? We'll go in and find out where we put the bikes. So it transpires, underground parking, so nice and secure for the bikes. So, uh, excellent, we'll stick it in there, and I'll see you in the room in a minute. Okay, we are absolutely whacked, and we've just arrived at the hotel. Turns out we've got a suite, so this is the bedroom. Have you seen the rest of it, Carol? What are we thinking? Is it good? We, we're a bit disappointed the bed may not be big enough for two small people. <laughs> It's absolutely massive. Right, let's check this out then. So, uh, uh, oh, here we go. Check this out. Nice. I'm liking this hotel. Top marks, Linda. What's through there? Have a look. Uh, um, that'll be the facilities. Oh, we need the. Oh, a little, um, it's on the side. The card. Oh, we need God. the card for the electrics because we've got a balcony and it won't okay. open the shutters. Do that. Right. Ah, oh, that works. Okay. Little thingy there. Do down. Oh, and a shower. Great. Right, let's have a look at the balcony then. My, my boots on. I'm desperate to get in that pool. My, oh, it's a pet kettle. Look. Oh, my feet are cooking. Go for it. How do we open this thing? Oh, there we go. Well, this is nice, isn't it? Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I have got a date. With the swimming pool. I think we need to disrobe and get in there interfrastically yeah. with a beer. Costume one first, yeah, may yeah, I suggest. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Toro Adventure. Thank you. Right, let's get in there. Look at this, right? Oh, what's it? 
Choice of pools. Look, we can swim through. Oh, that's amazing. I'm right, very excited. let's get in there now. Go, 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 go. Not a moment to waste. Sorry about this folks, I never meant for you to see this sort of thing, but go for it kids. Okay Ian, the challenge has been set. The what? The challenge is set, in you go. <laughs> oh, be sure to come off! <laughs> You're kidding! <laughs> <laughs> So we've finished all the uh, swimming pool shenanigans now and uh, we're off to a splendid restaurant that in fact uh, Toro have booked for us which is great. About a uh, 10 minute walk we reckon so uh, we'll join you there. So we've made it to the restaurant Escalera which is one of Linda's recommendations. I trust his recommendations implicitly. Anyway, cheers chaps and ladies. Cheers. Very good health. So we're going for fish of the day do you think? Yeah, definitely. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Wow. How do you say fish of the day oh, wow. in Spanish, please? Uh, pescado del día. Pescado del día. Pescado. Pescado del día. Del día. Del día. Pescado del día. Oh, we've stopped it. We need, That's it. Matt, we need Spanish a sorted. Um, right, prawnage then. Prawnage. So this is a starter. There's this quite a, a lot of prawns there. I'm this stealing is my one. Prawnage. You have a, 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 we've already, uh, already, already got one. Are they any good? Lovely. Oh, take the garlic. Oh, nice. Can I have one? I've had the garlic. God, sauce, you'll love that. Are you enough one for yourself? Oh, yeah. good, Would yeah. anybody like a prawn? You'll like that. You'll like that. <laughs> I'm going to have a prawn later. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> he has a go that I'm younger than Ricardo. Oh, yes. oh, no! That's a great puff. Have salad. Oh, that's me. And there's a salad between us. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much. wow. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Tuna salad. Mm. Oh, yeah. Kiss an egg. Gracias. <laughs> oh, wow, that looks pretty good. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's central this, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I know, he said to us to share. Yeah, but it didn't say mine was a shed. No, we'll share, we'll share, we'll share. We need to share. This is good. So far, this food is turning out top notch. Those prawns were cracking. They're amazing. The bread's been amazing. And you wouldn't, I mean, it's not like a fancy place, is it? But the food is very good. The food is lovely. Obviously, the sex is going to be amazing. So, the main meal has come. Fish of the day, Helen, in Spanish is? Pescado del Día. I think you got that, Ash. And, like and in fact, it's sea bream. Was it sea bream? Yes. Sea bream. Yes. Looks good. Looks good. An actual. You said sprouts. Sprouts. But how is that sprouts? That's a sprout. It's a sprout. Well, I'll have your sprouts. It's not sprouts, well. is it? It's a sprout. It's a sprout. We're going to eat our tea now. Right, dessert time. You're quite keen on a dessert then. And this is the. Uh, Apple. Apple. That, looks Apple. that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. Right. Jeez. Monge two. No. Bon. Monge two is. Monge two. <laughs> Mark de Fabrique. Mm. Mm. That is top quality, isn't mm. it? Mm. That is good. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh. Andrew, you said oh, oh. whole pie. That's mm. mouth Stop it. That is top tarty, that. Mm. 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 Oh, that's quite nice. Mm. Mm. Not as good as this, though. <laughs> Come on. Oi, we said we're sharing it. It's very good apple pie, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, there's none left. Mm. Would you shove it on your gum? I will get a few pounds tomorrow. We might have to get some more of this. It's really good apple oh, pie. Oh. Come, put it. What's it worth? Uh, you can come on my next trip with me. Okay. Frost. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Down in one. No. Uh, have you done yours? Oh, well done. Oh. <laughs> Another. Oh. Okay. I don't think we're supposed to drink all of these. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was meant to be one each. <laughs> it was a complimentary one. Yeah. Well, okay. We polished a lot off. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Well, supper is done. What a splendid country. Isn't it great that you can uh, eat al fresco style in October? Isn't that brilliant? Well, Ben Harvest, big uh, thumbs up for that. Excellent. Thank you, Lyndon. Great choice. The crew are stumbling back. Well, good morning, folks. It's uh, ooh, half past eight in the morning, uh, day two on our stress buster tour. 
It's going to be an absolutely beautiful day again. Here's the uh, view of the hotel complex we were in last night. Looking absolutely cracking. Incredible. It's only just got light. In fact, uh, when the alarm went off at eight o'clock, uh, it was still pitch black. I'm not used to that. Anyway, so today we're going to do, uh, we're back down here on this route. We're going to, uh, what we were going to do, or well, the original route was planned to come out here into this bit of national park that we've not done before, or I've not done before, but because it was actually taking us uh, quite a bit longer to do the route than we thought, we're going to actually come up here and cut it off slightly uh, and then go back down the, uh, the road that we did from through El Burgo yesterday that uh, we enjoyed so much. So uh, we have a little bit of a truncated route from that planned, um, but it should be absolutely great. The weather forecast again is set fair, blue skies all around. Can't wait to get back on the bike. Right, breakfast is done, time to hit the road. First time I've ever had a hairdryer in my top box. <laughs> but I hope it's not the last. <laughs> okay, so here we are on the bikes again. We've uh, made our way out of Benner Harvest, headed down towards the coastway to pick up our little route that we've uh, made for ourselves today. Slightly different to the planned route originally. We've just cut a bit of time out of it just because we're not uh, covering quite the distances we expected. But that's the beauty of this. You can uh, you know, chop and change as you like. There's no, nothing hard and fast about it. So we're heading up to a town called Gaussin. Uh, we might do lunch there, which is up towards the other national park on some roads that I've not done before. Uh, and then we'll head across to Ronda and then uh, the guys are very keen to do the roads that we did back through uh, El Burgo, etc. yesterday, which is the cracking road over the mountains. Uh, so we'll do that on the way back. So that's later on this afternoon. So once again, weather set fair, looking beautiful. A little bit of cloud up to my right, as you can see. but. Uh, I'm sure that'll burn on as the day goes on. It's 24 degrees at the moment, so absolutely perfect riding weather. Looking forward to another absolutely cracking down the bike as it was yesterday. Stick around and stay tuned.